Hey everybody, this is Pastor Sean Odom from Cross Point Church in Weatherford, Oklahoma with your God is Awesome and the Bible is Cool vlog. Today's focal passage comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 1 through 3. Here's what it says. It says, Come all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk, without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread and your labor on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me and eat what is good, and you will delight in the riches of fare. Give ear and come to me. Listen that you may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, my faithful love promised to David. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing is what we need to come to Christ. Nothing. In fact, in order to come to Christ, you need to be nothing. Nothing. Now, this is a very unpopular statement nowadays because we all want to be something and we're told by the, the world around us that it's all about us. But see, here's the deal. When we approach the throne of God, we need to humble ourselves and present ourselves as nothing before him. We have to understand our place in the grand scheme of things. God is not respectful of how much money we have or what levels of rank we've achieved. We cannot buy our way into eternity. He will... He will not allow you to enter heaven based upon your good works or your attitude. He does not count volunteer hours as you know, a ticket to glory. It, it, in order to become a new creation in him, we have to actually strip ourselves of everything and allow him to remake us. Now this could be a real life practical physical change such as changing a job or moving to a new place to get out of a bad situation. It is a calling to get rid of anything that would hinder us from our relationship with Christ. We have to purge ourselves of attitudes that place self above God. We have to kick out anything that is an idol and properly align our priorities. We have to bear our hearts and souls to God if we want to be closer to Him. Evaluating your life according to these things is not a one-time event. True, at the moment of salvation, we are washed clean of our sins and we are a new creation. However, periodically, if not constantly, we need to reevaluate our heart and lives to ensure that we are not allowing internal or external influences to stand in the way of growth in our relationship to Christ. Apart from our lives alone, there is nothing that we can lay down in front of the King in order to save us. Outside of accepting God's free gift of grace, there is nothing that we can do that will determine the future of our soul. When we accepted Christ, when we put our faith and trust in Him alone, we became a new creation. Nothing else mattered. Our lives became nothing and God became everything. We tend to forget that way too often. We have to become nothing again. Amen.